my life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. I think I've got the money, but let's not go there. Hey, mister. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Please, can you spare some money for a blind man? Of course I can. I'll be happy to. But there is the question of... Hey, You're not blind, are you? Someone there? Put I'm your blood in your alright. A poor blind man. Oh, thank you, friend. You know, you seem real perceptive for a blind man. Oh, who said that? Do you want to see my gun again? Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. You piece of shit. Well, I'll be on my way. Yeah, you go and never come back. Horrible hat. Can you believe that girl? Girl, I think you should get some rest. I'll be back for you, I promise. Okay, Jen, while I rest, you and I will go have some fun. And that did not take long. Home sweet home. What is it, Uncle? Numbago again? No, oh, come on, take it. What do you want? First try. Ooh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who's cow? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he's still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20 maybe? 
Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's man up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turn off. Yo, so how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the barkeep there gossips like a fish wire. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his hand from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah. It's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old fella like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. If, how old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Well, maybe we should cut you open. Count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer, boo. That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. this way. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses flopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer look. First time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. You're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Yeah, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I, I thought you had a plan. Well, I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake. You weren't supposed to shoot. Look, come on. You, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. He said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out, right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us.
Oh, well, do I need to kill him? And that just saved his life. Hold up a minute, uncle. Get back to the group. Should I do the talking? I should do the talking. Uncle? We still need to get our money for that. Well, hey there. What you got? Rabbits? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> it's always a delight doing business with you. Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. We've hey, nasty here, people. Don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. What is that? Hey fellas, today, it's Halloween earlier this year. We grow one yeah. oh, yeah. You're gonna watch, keep it As quiet. We Supreme you is oh. Yeah! Oh. Into oh. our oh. sacred cause. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Please, oh. step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. Yeah. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Very much. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let <laughs> The eternal light Talk about karma. So you're just going to pretend nothing happened? That's fair. Look what we got here. Lord of Buffalo. This is insanity. You let me loose. Do you know who I am? No, you're wearing a mask. This is very kind of you. Demon State Chapter, Quadrant of Me, as the member for the now, Senior Warlock, Female Members, Still Affirm No, just nonsense. 
Okay, let's take you to the sheriff. You're coming with me. Hey, you're okay, girl. What? Witness? What did I do? Kidnapping? What the hell? He's the dress up lunatic. Oh, hands up. No, no, no. Crap, the whole city is part of the Dude, clan. You're coming with me one way or another. So hard hard now, huh? I hate roads. Note self, do not mess up with their leader, or just kill him in the woods and nobody will ever know. Okay. are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some guy? A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <clears throat> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? Uh, no? No. Maybe. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. <laughs> A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this. When did we establish I'm the buffoon? Don't touch that. 
You were the moron that touched that, Use weren't you? to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatana. And what a way to go, trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. I make lifeless metal breathe like man! Well, I'm not sure about that. Another one now. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. The dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Kong, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for the smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just the two rules of seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly... <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> and I hope you will forgive my European course. So welcome to our humble police house. Thank you. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50 Okay, 
Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Somehow I think that's going to be the easier part. Good morning. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Now we've got to send to Limoges to complete the Morning service. Oh, if we only could send her to you. Yes, indeed. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. Bien. I am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> you sure you want to talk about unappealing? You sure you want to know? You're a dead man! <laughs> I was waiting for a punch. But I guess the head also works. Well, I know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. My friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! Why do people assume I'm going to hurt other people? I haven't done that in like an hour or so. What are you doing? You all right? Oh, how Leo. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I could hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Well, shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Yeah, you're lucky I don't like punching people. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, what? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no, not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, I, hey, Help. Uh, Help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me, officer! That's not help. fair. I know I punched her husband, but I try not to. 